Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, I've got something in my heart that I want to share with you. You know, yesterday, I, I, the Lord just, you know, someone, I'm sure someone, someone was crying to the Lord and the Lord had to respond to that cry. You know, that's what happened yesterday and I, and I trust you were blessed. Praise God. Now, uh, on, on the 7th and 8th of September, I've got to tell you this, we are having a program in the city of Abuja. It's tagged Sound the Alarm. Now, you may have already been seeing the jingle on radio, the, the TV, or the, the video advert we did. Now, if you are in Abuja, plan to be in that meeting. I'm serious. Plan to be in that. Don't plan to miss it for anything. Now, if you're not in Abuja, we are working on streaming the meeting live so you can partake. You know, so plan for those dates. Seventh, it's a Saturday and a Sunday evening. They are both evening meetings. 5 p.m. in the evening. Listen, you've got to be in that meeting because the Spirit of God told me, look, it is time to begin to sound the alarm. What are we sounding? Hear me, the Spirit of God is taking over. Praise God. And, and just like the Bible says, when the seventh angel sounded, what happened? It says they declare that the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our God. Now, we're going to be teaching you things that the Lord has laid in our heart concerning the season of the children of God. Now, it's our season. Oh, and in and, 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 and two days, it's going to be teaching, and then there are, they we're going to take time, you know, to pray concerning the nation. And I'll tell you the things that the Lord have been saying concerning our nation and things that will shortly come to pass. Praise God. It's good to be prepared. That's why it's good to hear the voice of the Lord. And when you hear the voice of the Lord, nothing will take you by surprise. So listen, invite your friends. If you're not in Abuja, call someone in Abuja. You know, he's holding at the Zeus Paradise already. The address and, 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 and time and everything is showing on the screen. But listen, don't miss this meeting. Praise God. Now, I, I want to share something to you from the book of Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16 and verse... 15 now watch this he says jesus speaking and he says and he said to them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature now jesus commanded his disciples this he said go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature praise god now look at verse 16 he said he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. See, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, Jesus commanded us to go and preach the gospel to who? Every creature. Now, there's a reason he used that term, every creature. Praise God. Then he said, he that believeth and is baptized. So you need to believe when you hear the gospel and be baptized. Now, hear me. Now, you need to get this. If this is what you get today, please get it. When Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized, he, he wasn't talking about water baptism. I hope you know that. Some of you don't know, you know, I've heard people preach that except you are baptized with water, you cannot say you are saved yet because the, um, Jesus, he, that, he wasn't talking about water baptism. Jesus couldn't have been talking about water baptism. So, so what was he talking about? He was talking about the Holy Ghost baptism. He said, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Listen. Who, who, who began to baptize with water? John the Baptist. Now, let me show you what John the Baptist said in Matthew. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11. Watch this. Yeah, Matthew 3, 11, John speaking. And he says, I, watch this. He says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Did you get that? I, John now, baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He, talking about Jesus. Now, John was talking about you. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Did you see that? Now, John puts a 
distinction here. I'm baptizing you, you with water. That's all I'm doing. But the one who's coming after me, actually John meant he's not going to baptize you with water. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. So if this is what John said concerning Jesus, then why would you think that Jesus was referring to water baptism when he told the disciples, he that believeth and is baptized? See, you see, because we, we're too used to the two words, water baptism. So anytime you talk about baptism, all you think about water, see, but to be baptized means to be dipped into, to be immersed into, see? So when John baptized with water, he dipped people into the water. But Jesus' job was not to baptize with water. Jesus' job was to baptize with the Holy Ghost. So Jesus' job is to dip you in the Holy Ghost. Praise God. I've got to stop here now. I'm going to continue on this tomorrow. Praise God. Listen, get ready for things you will learn that will revolutionize your life. Praise God. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.